Yanni and Monica. Monica from Monica's no from DoggyRescue.com. That's it. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Yanni. Good. Wow. So, well, you are you you are well. You're the next step because we had the Cat Protection Society on twice, uh -huh. and we and they had an amazing feedback. And and uh, one of the guests um, is one of your friends, uh, uh, Kerry Bailey. All right. Yes. And um, and she suggested Doggy Rescue. Okay. So, what's Doggy Rescue about? Well, Doggy Rescue is a charity that's set up purely to save dogs from the Council Dog Pound. Yeah. Um, because we have about 50,000 dogs that are destroyed every year in New South Wales, and we're just trying to do our bit and rescue as many as we can and put wow. them up for adoption. God, because these are gorgeous dogs. Now, now, um, what what do you do um, uh, that other organisations don't? Because obviously, I mean. I mean, it's a real passion, isn't it? It's a personal it is, passion yeah, of yours, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you've been going for 15 years. Yeah, I started about 15 years ago. The charities um, that was registered in 2001. Yeah. And, um, but we're really there to save those dogs from death row that have got no future, no help, God. and they're going to be put down. And we literally take them, you know, the day they were going to be put down. Oh, really? Oh, so you actually save dogs from death row? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Yeah. And, and yeah. Look, I know it's a terrible uh, uh, statistic to ask about, but, but I mean, um, how many dogs are put down? Well, about <coughs> 50,000 dogs um, die every year in, the, uh, in New South Wales. Um, 50,000 un dogs unwanted. a year? Yeah, that's right. 50,000? Yeah. yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Oh my God, these gorgeous dogs. Oh yeah. God, it's so well, sad. These are two okay. examples. Okay, cool. And, and so what's the positive, I mean, what's the positive um, story for these dogs? I mean, what's the best outcome that could happen? Like, say, say people are watching the show today mm -hmm. and, and they want to help these doggies. Um, who's this boy here? Is that a boy or a girl? Yeah, this is little Tickle. He's a Tickle. little boy. Yeah. He's about two years old and he's a Shih Tzu Poodle cross, so he's a fluffy dog. Wow. And um, he's and looking so, for a home. Oh, he's looking for a home. God. And how about this boy? Is this a boy or a girl? No, that's a little girl. It's a girl? And yeah. what's her name? And and her no, I've just forgotten. <laughs> it's not terrible. Sorry. <laughs> um, oh, anyway, it's a girl to come to you. Come to but do you know what? They're such lovable animals, aren't they? Absolutely. She's about 12 months old. Oh, and so she's, she's a, still very young. A whippet cross terrier. Yeah, yeah. You can see when she was zooming yeah. around the garden yeah, how energetic active. she yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. And and so if people want, you know, if people have a conscience and and you know they want to, you know, adopt one of these gorgeous, beautiful dogs. Meow. One of the gorgeous. The doggies, what do they do? Um, the best thing is probably to visit our website, doggyrescue.com. Yep, which is it's, a charity. Yep, that's yep, right. That's great. And um, we have photos and a profile of all our dogs there. And online? they're categorised. Yep, online. Wow. And they're categorised by age and sex. And uh, people can look at the pictures and then shortlist the number of dogs that they might be interested yep. in. And uh, against each photo, there's a, there's a little blue icon that flashes which um, clicks into a lifestyle questionnaire yeah. that we ask people to fill in. They list the dogs that they want to see and they send it to us. Wow. And then we contact them and then make arrangements for them to see the dogs. Yeah. That's fantastic because, I mean, these dogs are just so full of love. Yeah. You know, be because yeah. when people think of, you know, like dogs being rescued and everything, like they normally don't think of such beautiful, homely, happy no, dogs. No, I know. You know? People always say that yeah. to us okay. when we come to the shelter. Okay, so, so can I ask, um, um, you know, I mean, what are the unfortunate circumstances that these dogs end up in? You know, like, why do they end up on, on doggy death row? Well, I don't know. I think most people just don't care, are ignorant, yeah. they lose the dog, they think, oh, it's stolen, or, oh, it's run away, and they, they don't go looking for them, Yeah. you know, and yet doggies are like yeah. children. Yeah, and so how about with people finding lost dogs? Do, do people sometimes find a lost dog through you? Uh, not really, because yeah. we oh, only because take they've them been from, through. Yeah, they've been yeah. through the council pound process, yeah. so they're already unclaimed, unwanted dogs yeah. by the wow. time we get them. How many uh, 
kennels do you have, or, or, or are you associated with that are, are that you know uh, look after the dogs or house them? Yeah, we have um, a lot of foster carers, so we have yeah. a lot of dogs scattered all over Sydney in private homes, yeah. and we have some kennels at Ingleside on the northern beaches yeah. um, that houses approximately 80 to 100 dogs. Wow. Um, so in total, we have about 150 dogs looking for a home. Yeah. And, uh, but they all get a home. We place about a th just under a thousand dogs a year. That's amazing. That's yeah, uh, uh, 20 yeah. dogs a week. Yeah, that's right. That's great. Yeah. And, and so how are you funded? It's purely by donations because yeah. we're, we're a charity. We don't have any sort of government support, but we have a lot of kind people that help us along and that keeps us going and pays for all the vet bills and the rent wow, and, that's and all great. those sort of and, important and things. And so do you get any government funding or, or um, um, anything from the government? No, no, we don't have any government funding. God, it's purely just donations. No, no, but it's yeah, a pity, isn't it? Yeah. Because, I mean, because this is... You know, like this is animal welfare. That's right. You know, yeah. It's great. Well, we're certainly tax deductible, which helps now, and that's, that's the status that we just got last year. So, how do you know, um, you know, uh, which family is uh, is properly placed with the dog, for example? Well, we we think it's a bit of a matchmaking thing. It's knowing the dogs well, their temperament, their personality, and then trying to understand a family. Their, their needs of a dog and also their experiences so that you place the right sort of dog into the mm. right home. So little dogs like this that are very active and full of beans, yeah. you wouldn't put with a person that's working full time because the dog would just get too lonely and yeah. bored during the day. Yeah. And then also, I mean, dogs are great companions, aren't they? Absolutely. They give you just so much love yeah. and they're just, it's unconditional and that's what is the lovely thing about having dogs. Aren't they? Unconditional love. That's well, it. That's a great wish, isn't it? But it's, it's a wish that comes true, isn't it? Because, mm. you know, we, it's hard to get unconditional love out of people, but we can get mm. it from dogs. That's for sure. That's fantastic. All right. So what's your, I mean, what's your message to everyone out there when it comes to, you know, dogs and dog welfare? And, you know, what do you have to say to people? I guess if you're looking for a dog, consider it like a child. It's, it's for life. And Doggy Rescue certainly is looking for forever homes for these babies. Have a look on our website on doggyrescue.com and, and trawl through and just see if there isn't a little bit of love that you can find there. Thank you. Monica from doggyrescue.com, thank you so much for coming over today. And, um, you know, this is a great organisation and, uh, and, and good luck with everything. Thank you very thank you. much. I, I hope we have a great influence as we did with the Cat Protection Society. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Monica. <laughs> Bye.